We're standing here with the TB80 mandrel bender. We're going to show you how to program uh, program for this machine. Simply going to go to the programming mode. At the top, you can name your program. We're going to just make a test program. You can name your program, hitting OK to enter that. These fields, you can enter the information for your tube diameter, thickness, your former, and any comments that you want. Keeping in mind that this information does not have an impact on the machine bending, this is just for your information only. From this screen, we are going to hit the right arrow. This, you can enter your bending degrees, your spring back value, mandrel retraction, and bending speed. Your down arrow allows you to program in 30 bends in that particular program. Simply by hitting the field that you'd like to enter, we can change the degree of bend. Hitting OK to confirm it. Spring back value, mandrel retraction, and again, bending speed. You would do this so on and so forth through the 30 bends if you had that many. Simply stopping when you want to. Hit the back arrow, and we are going to save this information. We want to save that to the computer. By hitting the down arrow, you can see the programs that have been stored. Simply by highlighting them, you can input the data by hitting the check mark. Again, if I go back to my main screen, And going back to my original test part, we can recall that information with hitting the check mark. When we're setting this tool set up, we're going to need to uh, set the positions for each individual component of the mandrel tool set. And to do that, what we're going to do our first icon here on the control, we're gonna press that. Here you can see the different options for the different items. If we hit our mandrel, because we would need to set our mandrel depth of uh, the mandrel itself, we can highlight that, press our bend button, and we can set our mandrel depth by doing that. We always want to set that mandrel depth with the mandrel in the in position. Again, by hitting the return, we can bring it back to the back position. We're going to go ahead, and again, you can do this on all six. With our clamp, we can highlight the clamp. And again, we can close our clamps on the machine to set clamp pressure and clamp position. We are going to work with setting the mandrel depth position on the tool set at this time. Again, we're gonna hit this first icon here to go to our functions. We're going to highlight our mandrel bar. We're going to advance this forward. What we wanna do is ideally have the body of our mandrel aligned with the zero mark on our tool. So I'm going to advance this forward. And I'm looking for the body to align with that zero line. To do that, I'm gonna to go to the back of the machine and make the adjustment forward. So we're at the rear of the machine now at the end of the draw bar. This is your hydraulic cylinder that's positioning your draw bar in and out for that mandrel depth position. These two nuts, you loosen to adjust your depth. And again, you're doing this with the mandrel positioned all the way in towards the end of the bend. 
Once you have it in positioned and lined up with the zero mark on your tool, you would just simply tighten these nuts down, tightening them, and we can go back to the front of the machine to be sure that it is in the correct position. So as you can see, we've adjusted the mandrel depth into the position where the body is lined up with the zero mark of the uh, former tool. So now that we've adjusted our mandrel depth position, we're going to retract the mandrel to the zero home position and we're ready to use that function of the tool set. We're going to work with the clamp position of the tool set at this time. Again, going back to our main icon, the first icon, we're going to highlight the clamp of the tool set. Now coming over to the tool set, this is our clamp die. Our fingers go over the top. Clamp die is going to come in and mate with the center former of the tool set. Fingers come down, uh, grab the former, and hold the material in place as you're bending. Ideally what we're going to do is bring this in close enough where the fingers can come down, grab our forming die, without deforming the end of the material and giving you enough room to put the material in and out of the machine. What we're going to do is move it about a quarter of an inch from the face of the center former and at this point what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actuate uh, the clamp die cylinder by hitting the plus key on the control making sure it energizes and brings those fingers down comfortably over the center former. The one thing that you have to be sure on this tool set in the Ercolina machine, this clamp die adjustment box, when you have those clamp fingers in position, you do have to set this clamp box. You need to advance it forward about 3 16 of an inch and then tighten that down. If you do not set this clamp die box assembly correctly, your machine will not function properly, it will not bend. When you're done setting those clamp positions, you can hit the minus key, releasing the fingers. So again, back to the TB80 mandrel tool setup. This is the wiper die. This mates with the center former of the tool. You want to have this have an even blend between the wiper die and the radius of the former. There is no setting on the control for this uh, part of the tool set itself. Uh, it's all done by uh, manual feel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert this into the radius of the former. And in position, dropping the dowel pin down inside. And again, if you look on the back side of the former and the wiper die, you don't want to see daylight. You want to see a nice mate between the wiper die and the radius of the former. We're going to work with setting the pressure die position of the tool set. Again, going to our very first icon here. And then again, going to the PD for pressure die. We're going to actuate that to move our pressure die in and out. And again, by hitting the plus or minus or bend and return, moves that pressure die to the in and out position. Again, we will always adjust this with the cylinder advanced all the way forward and then adjust it into the tube set. The other thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually clamp the fingers in the clamp assembly of the tool set. This holds the material in place while we're adjusting the pressure die. We're going to highlight the pressure die again. And again, by hitting the plus key, we'll be able to bring that forward. Now, if you look at the pressure die, you always want to have the pressure die mate with the tube properly. If you look on the back side of the pressure die, it is not against the tube properly. To do that, we're going to adjust on the other side with a fine adjustment. So again, going back to where the pressure die has to mate with the tube properly. There is a fairly good size gap in here. So what we're going to do is use the adjustment here to bring that pressure die position in. 
using our adjustment wheel, we're going to turn clockwise to adjust the pressure die to the in position to gain more travel towards the tube. So we have adjusted the pressure die in further to make closer to the tubing. What we're going to do to check that position is we're actually going to re release the clamp and see the pressure that we've applied by the pressure die. And what we're going to do is try to twist our tubing. See that we do not twist, so we've got adequate pressure between our pressure die and our wiper die.